What is going on here? Because I, do you know why? Because I uh, popped it out. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Hearts of Iron stream. It's another day, another dollar. It is a good Thursday. So, today we're playing uh, the Thousand Year Reich, which is going to be cool. Uh, we're going to play it, but we're going to play Moscow. We're going to play Moscow. This needs to go here so I can see my. Uh, yeah, ah, it'll do. It'll do for now. Uh, yeah, so we're playing uh, Moscow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody who is in the chat. Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome. I'm just double checking everything is working okay. Um, that's that, that's that. Boom, bada bing. Here we are. Welcome. Welcome. All right. Let's get cracking, shall we? So, let's get into gaming mode. Gaming mode's still not on. Uh, it is... The Thousand Year Reich. So, let's have a look here. Magic! Boom! There we are. Can everybody see okay? Boom. I've, I've, I've kind of changed up all my, uh, my, uh, my gear here. So, if you can't see anything, um, you tell me in the chat... And I'll try get it sorted because it is a bit new. It is, uh, it's a bit new. It's a bit new. So uh, I'm going to try sort that out. So see how we are. And, but everything looks good, I think. Cool. Always good to see. Always good to see. Um, cool. Perfect. Everyone see okay? All right, let's crack into this, shall we? Welcome, welcome. Everybody, welcome. Thanks, guys. Hello, hello. How are you? Uh, boom. All right, let's 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 gear on to this, shall we? Uh, so we are playing uh, the Moscow. We're playing Reich Commissariat. Reich Commissariat. Moscovin. Okay, so we're playing them. And we're going to see if we take control of, like, a, a faction that can tend to, I guess, be a part of the winning side. It's going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited because this is, is a cool kind of mod. I feel like TNO is a bit too complicated in terms of economics and all that. And there's more story, it's more story driven than actual, you know, a lot of battles going on and fighting everybody. So it is what it is, but I'm excited to have a, a little go at this. So let's check this out. Um, let's put on some music, shall we? It doesn't really sound exciting enough. But everybody, you can hear me? Good, good, good. All right. So this is our state at the moment of time. We're surrounded very well on the left by allies. We've got Republic of Finland in the north. Perm Soviet government hates us. And then we've got the Kazan um, down here as well, which hate us too. Uh, in terms of army, what do we have? We have militia who are very... <laughs> 144 cards. So not too well. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, okay. We're going to put you under Ernert. Ernert. And then we have a field marshal, right? Okay. Hans von Sch Salmuth. Or Rudolf Schmidt. Oh, he sucks at attack. So we're going to go there. All right. The shaky pillars of Moscow, then. All right. Let's see. All right. What do we got to build? We got to build. We got to put on some rifles here. We're going to put on some civilian construction. But I don't know where to put it because everything is rioting. Let's put it in our capital. Oh, okay, so we got the wall there. The Kremlin. I thought it would have been blown up, but fortunately not. I'm going to put in some guns because we know there is a civil war coming. Uh, so that is what I'm going to uh, put forward. So let's see how we go. Oh, we also got an airfield. I don't need the tutorial. What do we have? Oh, we've actually got quite a lot of air force. I re oh, but we don't have any manpower to, uh, to deploy it, which unfortunately is a bad thing. Uh, let's have a look here got no manpower whatsoever uh we got three political power 
So nothing really great, is it? We can speed it up. I think there's nothing really happening otherwise. Um, but yeah, so we got in our cabinet, we got uh, Wolf Heinrich Graf von Helldorf. Okay. We've got Alfred Meyer. We've got Erich von dem Bach Zelewski. And then we got Wilhelm von Alvorden. Okay, here we go. The Pillars of Moscow. Then. Ever since the establishment of the Reich Kommissar, Moscow, uh, partisan and uh, terrorist movements of all stripes sprouted through the land, making governance of the colony a titanic task. The German garrisons, both Wehrmacht and Schutzstaffel, were not enough to come with the demand of pacification brigades and anti-partisan operations in the region. There comes the KONR, short for Committee of, for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia. Russian men willing to work with the colonial administration. These armies of natives made it easier to fight terrorist groups while relieving a substantial weight off the German army's back. Inside of the KONR reside three main groups. The Russian Liberation Army, led by Sergei Bunyachenko. The Russian National People's Army, led by Sergei Ivanov. And finally, the Russian National Liberation Army, led by Bronislav Kaminsky. We have to admit it, without the KONR ruling Moscow, it would be excruciatingly difficult. Difficult, it even, if even possible. Interesting. Oh, uh, interesting. All right. So we can go on to one of these. We've got... Our allies, the loyal and disloyal. When we fought the Soviets, there were many who were willing to side with us as the lesser evil. However, now that the Reds have been defeated, our alliance has grown far more tense. Ooh. Okay. Um, would be cool to be able to de deploy like our Air Force, but I can understand why. Um, I could just delete all this, but I'm not sure how the, the Civil War works. Because I can delete them. But all my manpower is going into uh, reinforcements. That is uh, that is what's the case right now. So let's see, let's see. I mean, it's it, it will be fun to see what what's going on there. Oh yeah. Let's see, all right, here we go. The Norwegian Thorn. Okay, here we go. Oh, US test hydrogen bomb. Oh, that's not great. A lot of events going on. Germany tested as well. Uh, the loyal and disloyal. Inside the Committee for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia resides several varied groups. Each one has a different grade of loyalty to the Reich Kommissar. The ROA, led by Bayashchenko, is, is, is comprised of former Soviet POWs who wish for better life conditions at the expense of tactically collaborating with us. They have a strong rivalry with the Rona. The Rona. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's back. Um... The RNNA, led by Ivanov, was born way before the war back in 1921. Ivanov himself is a white immigrant who joined the NSDAP in 1942. The RNNA became an official fighting force inside the many Russian collaborator armies. Last but not least, there is a Rona, spearheaded by Bronslav Kaminsky, formerly a mere military police officer under the unit. The Rona received generous support from Himmler and the SS, eventually growing into a giant inside of the K-O-R-N-R. -R. Oh, Rona increases by a small amount. Uh-oh. That's a bit of a issue here, don't we? Okay, so we got some of these guys here. Uh, the RNNA is one of the organization which makes up the collaborating political system and is the weakest through it works alongside the ROA. They are fascist and monarchist seeking to restore the Romanov dynasty. Interesting. So pro-monarchist. Pro-monarchists. The great pretender. The grand speech. While the viewer is not able to uh, attend the Ostrovin, the Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, represented the Fuhrer and held a grand speech in his honour. Goebbels stated that the prosperity of German people must be achieved through strong cooperation and the will of the frontier settlers, clarifying the role of the Reich Kommissars for the continued prosperity of Greater Germany and unity among all Aryan Aryan people in the world. The start of the Ostrovin truly shows the glory of Germany to the world. Ooh, thank you, Goebbels. i got some political power. Uh-oh. Uh industry and military of the East. While the Ostrovin seeks to discuss both industry and military under the directive from the Fuhrer, Albert Speer seeks to integrate both subjects into one. 
The conference verified the importance of the war economy in the Reichskommissarts and their part on securing the outskirts of broad greater Germany, and how the play a continued significant role in the German military economy as a whole. Oh, I got one. F- oh, oh, I got one more. Uh, no. Do you know what? I think no. Hang on. I didn't. I just get one. Mm, those sly dogs. They didn't give me one. Germanization status. The main task of the Reichskommissar is to Germanize the speed the new lands. The Ostrufen urged all the Reichskommissars to speed up the Germanization and settlement project and expand the Aryan race through, throughout Europa. After the delegates made their statements, the Germanization effort was reaffirmed and the Reichskommissars promised to start joint operations on Germanization. Oh, I got 20,000 people. Oh, yeah. And the construction is uh, better. <laughs> oh yeah and then they went 20k all into the militia yep that's what it is straight into the militia all right trading policies uh rice commissar such as you oh the trading policies rice commissar such as ukraine have rich resources that can supply the Aryan people Germania demands the Reich Commissars extract and export extra resources to the Reich and fuel the german economy machine economic machine. The delegates from the Reichskommissars have sworn their loyalty and promised Germania their resources will be put to good use for the Aryan race. Resources for the Reich. Interesting. So I'm not... Oh, now now it's there. Okay. I don't need that then. I don't need it. I don't want to be stockpiling. Ostrophen ends. After a few weeks of the Grand Conference, it has finally come to an end. Albert Speer thanked the Reichskommissar representatives in the name for, of Germany for their attendance and dedication to the future of the German people. After a feast between German officials and Reichskommissar's delegates in a Danzig Hall, the delegates were sent home and Ostrophen have come to an end. Oh, interesting. Uh-oh. What's that mean for Germany coup in Norway? Uh-oh. Back in control. They're back in control. So I guess Norway kind of went their own way. And then um, British control in West Africa. Interesting. All right. Bombing at RNNA headquarters. We're receiving reports of a bombing at the RNNA headquarters. Special report. The bombing, which occurred during our lunch break, injured three. None seriously. However, we must investigate the issue. Some have suggested that we begin an immediate public investigation while others suggest that doing so for such a minor incident would only further embolden whoever did this crime. What should we do? What should we do, guys? What should we do? Launch an immediate investigation or uh, hush, hush? That is the case here. That is the case here. Um, hush, hush? Let's keep hush, hush. Ooh, the power of the SS increases. Launch an immediate investigation. Hmm. Maybe we should do hush hush, no? Because it's not that big. It's hush hush. Nothing to worry about. Um, Alright, let's do our next. Old, unreliable. He's old and unreliable, if anybody didn't know that. The Russian Liberation Army, or ORA, is the strongest collaborationist organization. However, as of late, they have become particularly unreliable. Interesting. Old, unreliable. We're getting a, we're getting good good um, political power, that's for sure. And thinking we do infantry equipment right now, we know there's a civil war along the way, and it's coming. So, so best thing is like, I guess to prepare for it. I mean, wouldn't you? Oh, the opening of the German metro. Interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Trying to live stream on YouTube is interesting, to be fair. That's why Kick's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so an assassination attempt on Boyoshenko. News have gone loose of an attempted assassination on ORA leader Sergei Boyoshenko. But Bun Yashinko was reported to be in good condition, and the perpetrator has been detained. We could launch an investigation into who was responsible, or we could announce the perpetrator 
quickly to soothe public sentiment, that is, the partisans, who should we do? Um, ooh. Nah, let's go. Investigation in the perpetrator. Got to find out who that perpetrator was. Ka Kaminsky, the golden boy, uh, is perhaps the most reliable and pro-German organization in the government. We must see it that he receives adequate resources. Okay. I'm sure that he'll be tried to... I mean, people will attempt on him, won't it? There'll be another um, attack or something. A lot of events going throughout the war. There's a civil war down here in Algeria. But the French authority have come under the UK. Interesting. I guess it was collapse of uh, Charles de Gaulle's uh, French Empire. A lot of events going on. We've got 10 industry at the moment, which is not great. Civilian 7, military factory 3. All right, here we go. Nothing. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's going to come on up sooner or later. Um, oh, okay, the power owner increased by a small amount. Okay, I thought there was going to be an ad, um, an ad, an event or something. Perhaps we can mend things between ourselves and collaborators and come to a sort of minor agreement. After all, we are all anti communists at the end of the day, aren't we? Aren't we? Who knows? All right. Uh, organization or charismatic? I'm going to go charismatic. Oh, no, I can't. I got no uh, CP. And I kind of don't want to do any CP. Oh, look, they're all moving. Oh, something's happening. Something's afoot. A lot of German divisions are moving here. I don't know why. Are they are they preparing to declare war? Kazan is... Wow, they're... They're, they're preparing to declare war on us? That's strange, huh? It's a bit early to do that, right? Pacification. Task are proving worthless so far. Not even our greatest efforts come to not be enough. The SS army and collaborator units are all deployed and fighting, but the partisans always seem to be best them in combat. Different parts of the KONR have different answers to this. Ivanov of the RNNA proposes to give the KNO uh, ah, <laughs> in general, a greater role in pacification tasks, granting them more concessions and autonomy in exchange for greater help in anti-partisan missions. Anti-partisan. On the other hand, Kaminsky, a commander of the Rona, proposes to give his army a greater role in his pacification, including the other part of the KONR, having his armies being the sole leader of collabor collaborationist anti-terrorist forces. All the while, men like Beck Zelensky are planning to increase pacification efforts no matter how. Oh, shit. Shit's about to get down. Um. Hmm. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. What's everybody saying? Okay. Interesting. Yes? No? Who, who do we go with, guys? That is the question. That is the question I'm trying to, uh, trying to find. And, oh, I forgot to, uh, actually update my, um, uh, my, uh, uh, my god, all this stuff is happening. Oh, uh, what? Forgot to, uh, change my, uh, my category. Um. Uh oh. Uh, thousand. Yeah, right. Is here. Save. Okay, cool. That's done. Um, how are we going? How's it going on uh, the YouTube? I, I, I don't know why what's going on, but uh, for some reason, some reason, uh, it doesn't show too well. So, it is what it is. But let's see. Uh, worlds Collide. So, we're going to go with um, the Power of Rona. Weekly Manpower, plus 500. We got Kaminsky is in the right here. 500 Manpower. Oh, no. So, his weekly war support is 0 0.50. Uh, SS increases by a large amount. I kind of want an increase in the SS here. 
I don't think I've ever seen a, a Moscow that's gone SS, so let's see how that turns out. Probably for a bad idea, right? It probably collapses, knowing this. Upgrade our weapons as best we can, because there is a war that is about to start, and we need to be prepared. Honestly, we should have gone with the manpower guy. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so he's that guy. And then he gets over here as well, right? A new plan. Okay, here we go. The government of the Reich Commissart, Moscow, is inefficient to say the least. Our colony suffers from constant terrorist attacks in the cities and towns. These constant employees make life in cities and for the German settlers in general very difficult. And there is a high risk of getting killed. Ugh. In the countryside, the partisan rule with almost no opposition, neither the SS, Wehrmacht, nor even the KONR armies can stem the tide. Otherwise, providing services like electricity and running water is extremely difficult. We haven't fully rebuilt the little infrastructure those Soviets didn't blow up while retreating. Entire cities just get a few hours of electricity. What to do, what to do. So partisans are coming on. Um, we are not alone in the struggle to settle the barren lands of Eastern Europe. We must reach out to the fellow colonists to maintain order. So I'm guessing Reich Kommissar, Ukraine, and Ostland. Oh, the Olympics have begun. I don't think uh, Germany got invited. Dissolution of Sahara. Did they just declare war? No. Oh, the re the rebellion was crushed. Rebellion was completely destroyed there. So, still the powers of the colonials. Oh, here we go. Oh no, Sahara is above that. My bad. The power of the SS. The SS is a powerful combat force, both in Germany proper and in the colonies. They have helped us and their other Reich Kommandants countless times in the fight against terrorist partisans, groups inside our lands. The Schutzstaffel troops should be what we need at the moment. With partisans getting stronger by the day and seizing more territory than ever before, we will request more SS troops from Germania, stating that the necessity of pacifying the native populace and combating terrorist organizations. We don't ask for the slave respect, only the affair. Okay, interesting, interesting. Following orders from Germania. Orders from the Metropole have arrived, and it is our intention to see them through completely. Resettlement, settlement, anti... Resettlement, settlement, anti-banditary measures. Everything must be followed to a T. Okay. So they're getting quite powerful up here. The rebels. Or the freedom fighters, I should say. In some aspects. The Greek Civil War has started. Oh, and the communists in Japan have taken over. Oh, how does that look? Oh, they have the nuke. <laughs> Oof. All right, and then the Kazan's military order has attacked Turkestan. Poor Turkestan. See you later, Turkestan. Um, here we go. The Greek Democratic and Bulgaria as well. Oh, okay. That's cool. I really do like the the Greek Civil War there. Okay, here we go. A letter. Oh, no. Hold on. Head of the um, Staatsschutzstaffel is a man whose services are immensely reliant upon. We must send a letter to him asking for support in settlement and resettlement initiatives. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and in, in Tino, he has uh, Burgundy, doesn't he? So, this he's still, he's still together. Oh, we're really doing some... I didn't stop that. Uh, we're doing some, definitely doing some um, upgrades with our technology here. Um, oh, do we get our? Mm, I said research speed. I was going to say uh, construction speed. Perfect. Okay. Um, from the administration to the Reich Commissar to Moscow, we are requesting a major number of Staatsoffel units from the Reich. Counter-terrorist operations are to be carried out against partisan groups all throughout the colony. Units will be dispatched immediately upon arriving and will stay in the Reich Commissar for estimated four months, carrying out anti... Okay. Do we send it? 
It's not necessary right now. Ah, let's see. That. What can we do? We gotta get these guys out of here. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna try to be the... I think we're trying to be the... The Russian... Um, uh, what's what's the ones that are trying to do the military? Are they attacking? No, uh, they're trying to do the what's it called? Um, the monarchy, reform the monarchy. Um. Okay. So he's doing that. Infrastructure. We should be doing infrastructure actually. But we are doing some civil civil. Uh, we can build up our infrastructure here. Ooh, results are not doing too good, huh? So basically, program is in a state of decay. Resettlements are being protested. Settlements are raised by natives, and bandits have reigned of terror upon much of the western forests. We must try to remedy this sorry state of affairs. Okay, it doesn't look too good there. So we're building up. Partisans are coming through, which is good. We're gonna we're gonna bring these guys down. Let's see. Dwindling results. Uh oh. Partisan attack near Smolensk. We have received urgent reports of the par partisan attack near the city of Smolensk, resulting in the deaths of several German settlers. Settlers. Back is Vilitsky. Insists that retaliation is necessary, but more moderate voices have claimed that such things would only further embolden them among the populace. What should we do? Um. We have to. Pacification, because. Yeah, because people died. Um, our current bureaucracy is nightmarish and Byzantine. Byzantine? If we hope to succeed in our goals of colonization, we must trim the fat to a great extent. Ooh. Cut in the fat. Cut in the fat. Ooh. Okay. French joins the Commonwealth. It's pretty obvious, right? Pretty damn obvious. There, we're gonna do that. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Kaminsky requests increased role in pacification. It has come to our attention that Kaminsky has been requested his increased role in our pacification efforts, claiming that his knowledge would enable us to more adequately pacify the population. Others, however, have suggested that this may merely be a vehicle by which to increase his popularity among the people. How should we reply to Kaminsky's request? Uh, we could always use more hands, that's for sure. Always use more hands. Summon the ministers. In high time for us to officially meet with the ministers in charge of colonial affairs, both in Moscow and in the metropole, it is necessary for us to determine the future course of affairs and to prevent the failure of our colonial mission. Ooh. Uh oh. Something's happened. What's this? Regime. Corrupt? Oh, yeah. Obviously. Okay, here we go. Meeting of the ministers. The ministers and high government officials of the colonial administration have all arranged an emergency meeting to supervise the actual state of colonialization efforts of the Reich Kommissariat. A pile of reports were shared among the ministers, of all of them rather worrying in terms of settlers, less than 10,000 Germans were currently in the colony, an extremely disappointing number. Otherwise, infrastructure is quite poor in the colony, and entire neighborhoods and big cities were abandoned after the war because of the sheer destruction. Electricity and running water are luxurious in most regions, only working sparsely and for a few hours every day. The meeting concluded eventually, but a question was left. What is to be done with the natives? <laughs> we must take a hard line, or a more moderate choice is ideal. Monthly population is pretty good, because stability, though? We need stability. Okay, a new plan. Okay, so we have to wait for thingy to die. You know who. Cough, cough. Wink, wink. Oh, someone got elected. Thomas Dewey has been elected as the United States president. All right. I mean, we nearly got... We've nearly got... Oh, look, that's just getting deployed now. See, they were doing a, a bad thing there. They were, 
Now we're actually doing a raid. Doing a raid in the worst of times. Uh, now their troops are just getting eaten alive. Sometimes I see these guys actually, you know, destroying up. But not today, not today. There we go, a new plan. Oh. Oh, no, it's it's starting. The collapse has started. Oh. Uh, chaos. With the death of the Fuhrer, we have fallen into chaos. We have received numerous reports of slave uprising across the Kamazats. And even worse, the Commissar Kaish has been committed suicide. Oh, he's committed suicide. The Rice Commissar reportedly feared that he would be executed either by a more moderate government in Germania or by a hostile takeover of Moscow. We are sailing on ship with no helmsman. Uh -oh. For the time being, the Reich Commissar has come under a mixed Schutzstaffel uh, for Wehrmacht administration with no clear leader, but we need to find a new Reich Commissar, and quickly, for it's not, we could be facing the far worst issues in the not-so-distant future. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Minus twenty five percent. Uh oh. Okay, he's he's dead. We don't have any new focus trees yet. Oh. Uh, okay, so we need to select. Um, being placed under a temporary administration has temporarily caused a slight ebb in the revolts, but it is very clear that we must pick a new Irish commissar very soon, or face a total collapse of the government. So the thing we'd prefer to do without the Udo. Bolsheviks are just over the border. Thankfully, two candidates have already presented himself in the ideal for running our government. The first, Erich von dem Bakzewitsky, commands a local Schutzstaffel and pioneered the tactic of Brandenburg Kampfung, responding to rebellion with terror in an effort to secure the populace into submission. The second, Bronislav Kaminsky, would be an ideal choice, to say the least, a Russian collaborator who governs Bryansk. He has nonetheless shown himself to be relatively competent and urges for more reconciliatory positions in regards to the native population. Who shall be the next to lead this troublesome land? Boom. He has come into play <gasps> a state of chaos. In complete chaos, the Reich Commissariats might be unsalvageable of this chaotic state of a fair Irish. Von den Bach, Zvelitsky, will make the most of it. Okay. Okay, we don't have anything here. So we're... Okay, radio silence. Uh oh, is that radio silence from the, 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 the capital? Since the selection of the Rice Commissar, the land has been quiet. Too quiet, in fact. We've sent numerous requests to the RRA and RNNA asking for them to assure their support for the new government. They have received no response. Even a sweep of their government emphasis by the RSHA has revealed a lot of nothing. They have been completely emptied and abandoned. The slaves as well have seemed to suddenly quiet down. We presumed at first that they realized their attempts at rebellion would get nowhere, but now we are beginning to suspect something is happening on the front as well. Countless slaves had begun to suddenly disappear without a trace, oftentimes with their whole families or other close acquaintances. We don't know what is happening, but we know for sure that this is quiet is no coincidence. Something big is coming, like the calm before storm or the ebbing tide before tsunami. This period of radio silence will not last long. But what is coming that we do not yet know? But we are almost certain of the involvement of the slaves, the RRA and the INNA in the coming storm. Some local officers have been begun to speak of whispering amidst the trees outside Smolensk. This do does not bode well. Uh -oh. The new beginning. Oh wait. French Revolution! Everybody's collapsing into a state of um, decay. Did he get... He got killed. Yeah, look. He got... Uh, why can't you go in here? Demilitarization. I mean, this whole east western side is as well, right? Uh-oh. Does that happen here? Yep. Uh-oh. Um, since Cash's suicide, the Rice Commissars have fallen into chaos. A new Rice Commissar has been selected, yes, but the people of Moscow seem to have grown restless, and the death of a hated Cash has broken the provable dam. 
But Yun, Shinko, and Ivan have both gone silent despite, despite our repeated frantic letters. And now with the force of a landmine, the vice commissar has exploded. We are seeing reports that throngs of the Red Army partisans have begun to emerge from the shadows, taking several cities such as Smolensk in the process, announcing the coming liberation of the Russian people from the German devils. To make matters even worse, it seems that the RNOA and RNNA have defected agreeing to the temporary alliance to bring down us and unite Russia under their own aims. Furthermore, it seems that a band of slaves had run up around the Tver area. Fighting is a long shot and struggle for freedom. The Reich Commissar is in a state of great crisis, and our next move would be our last. Where do we go from here? So, so this is the Red Army. Okay, so he, they, they have a small... Ourselves to perm... Okay, so this is like, uh, okay, so it's basically you can, you can su be supported by perm or go by yourself, I guess. That's the, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, then you've got the Russian Liberation Army, of course. And then we've got the Associated Red, which I, the last stand. Okay, so this is the... I'm guessing this is the Partisans. Yeah, I'm guessing this is the Partisans there. Um, and then they have... They have a big tree as well. The gun settle. Moves capital Moscow. I mean, we could try these guys as well. Who do we go with? We shall throw off the chains. Now and forever. Long live Russia. Soviet Moscow, we will defeat these barbarians. Let's see if we can hold. So we can save here. Uh, revolt. Revolt. Boom, bada bing. And let's see if. Oh my god. This guy's screwed. He's in Smolensk as well. Um, what is going on here? <laughs> a bit of a bug. All right, so we've got some um, some divisions that have come to support the the defense. Uh, we're gonna get some defense going. Okay, so all right, what do I think first? We need to kind of get our troops together. Uh, yeah. They're all cut off, so... I'm thinking if I can... Do I push here quickly and try take these guys out, or do I hold here? Now, that is the issue I have at the moment. Uh... Oh, this guy's screwed as well. Oh, I've got these guys as well. Oh, perfect. That's a lot of divisions then. Oh, no. I've got this as well. Holy moly, we've got a lot of troops. Oh, we've even got more. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, perfect. All right, what do we do here? What do we do here? Do you know what? I think... Um, I think we push towards here as quick as possible. He can stay there. Uh, hang on. He can go there. He's going to stay on Tavia. I, maybe we'll just hold here. This guy's going to go there. That guy's going to go here. Um, and I kind of want to, he can hold that. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now I can understand what's going on here. Go take the city. Go here. You guys can go over here. This this guy needs to fall back. Uh, these two. I don't think there's any troops here. I only believe that. Damn, look at that. I got no... This guy's completely dead. <laughs> but I do kind of want to br break out of here. Uh, okay, there we go. We got a lot of guns now for some reason. We've got factories that are like... You know what? 
Let's get to work. Actually, I wanted you to go there, not there. These are all moving. Perfect. What are these guys doing? They got absolute nothing. Uh, yeah. The quicker we clean up this mess, the more we can. What the hell is that? White demon. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Uh, what do we do here? Okay, so we're okay at the moment. Pushing this. This is gonna support this guy. And uh, to be up to there, as it's known. Honestly, I think the South is lost. Uh, to be honest, South is lost. There's no way I can, I can get my troops out of here. That is the issue. They've got the South. Uh, these guys can just blitz this as quick as possible, and then I can send these guys to like try <laughs> try as hard as you can to uh basically whoa my god 15 divisions there this guy's like holding them all see if we can pierce that in half we've taken the the capital there and we're gonna move down there's 15 divisions there 21 divisions <laughs> and i'm getting i'm holding them off i'm holding them off here so that's that's a good start i think in a way, uh, I'm going to keep the division there. See if I can surround these guys best I can. Um, I think I want to move that guy there. But we are, we are pushing into their land, which is good. Can I do this? We've, uh, we've, we've cut them off here. Which is fantastic, really. Um, they're pushing. What's this guy doing? You come down here. And you you too. Stop trying to get out of things. Um, kind of want to push that guy there. See how we go here. Let's kind of like stop them from moving. Um... I do believe we can do this. Okay, state of chaos is done. Uh, uh, Bundan be kampfung is a simple concept. Thugs working out with our authority. These Bundan be kampfung will strike fear in the rebel population. It will be the best tool in maintaining law and order in our controlled state. Oh, give us a lot. Why couldn't we get this before the war? Huh? Seems a little bit late. Um... I'll go with that one. Um, how is this still going? These guys are still holding. Maybe I can actually save them. These guys doing here. We're getting reinforcements shortly, so that's good. Um, we're losing every battle we're doing. Let's see if we can stop that. I do believe we are in a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle, if you ask me. The thing is, we're attacking. We're attacking them across the bridge. It's not the greatest thing to do, is it? And I feel like... Um, yeah, these guys are going to come support this. This guy is still holding the, the fort there. That's fantastic. I'm surprised he is still there. Yeah, they're going to surround us here. Um, see, I'm trying to hold here. Yeah, they've surrounded this dude here, which is not great. Okay, we got this guy out. Because he got su su resupplied. Ooh, it's not looking good here. Can I go here? Yeah, but they're going to surround me. So, what I'm going to try to do now is try encircle these guys quickly i could launch an attack and try save this guy here but i i think encirclement is a little bit better for me at the moment 
you can fall back too. Jeez, I need. I, I'm sorry, but I need reinforcements as quick as possible over here. Uh, you, sir, can hurry up and just do it yourself. Retake everything as quick as possible. You need to hurry up too. I'm waiting on you. Uh, this is not looking good. I feel like they're going to get surrounded. Which is not great either. Yeah, they're, they're really pushing. They're really pushing into try take me out in Moscow. Um, I do believe I might need to pull my troops out of this. <laughs> and just get down ASAP to, to Moscow to hold. Okay. You can stay here. You fall back a little bit. Um, how? How did they break out? How did they break out? Oh, they're, they're really trying to take me out, eh? This guy is still holding out. That's amazing. I wouldn't think they're doing that, eh? Absolute crazy. Let's see. Do do do. Let's see how we go here. Spot this going in. We are looking okay. We're gonna follow these guys in. Uh, do 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 do. All right, move this in. And we're gonna go here. Take this, and we're gonna push that out. Uh, edit. We can't even put any artillery on. And I don't even need manpower for that either. Oof. It's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight here. Um move that guy. That guy's moving, right? Yeah, he's moving there. Uh I want him to at least hold as long as possible. Hmm. Hmm. Can we push this back until we get some uh, more troops here? Oh yeah, he's just pushing. He's just pushing around. Blocks head egg. <laughs> Did you just have have an egg, mate? Uh, Cambodian civil war. Interesting. Interesting. I'm kind of holding these guys as long as possible while I try. Get rid of these ones. Okay. And I actually move this guy back and then that one across. And then I can do that. I kind of want to hold the defenses of Moscow at the, at the time being. Because they're on my doorstep. And it's not looking too great. Do you think I can push this actually? Push into that Tiver. Okay, here we go. We got some stability, which is good. Which is good. Uh, do we request reinforcements? Napalm. Um, hmm. Who cares about the damage of few <laughs> Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, construction speed. Uh, division increase, abolish Russian uh, rise settlers, um, um, cracking the rip. Okay, so working. Okay, so I guess. Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, so in the end, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so how many... Okay, it doesn't look like they've... Um, oh, actually, don't I have an Air Force? I do have an Air Force. Oh. That makes it so much easier. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, do we go left or right? Um, self-governing. Hmm. Or do we go... I mean, you get a lot of, um... You get a good amount of, uh, bonuses this side. Yep, yeah, why would they... Honestly, though, why would they... I mean, they have, there's no civil war, right? Oh, no. We can do that now. Okay. Let's go do that. Let's try push them out. Alright, let's go. Let's move these guys back. I feel like we're, we're losing the north. And there's no need for this guy in the... In the north now. So he's he's going to fall back. Hopefully uh, get in here in time. This guy's been holding so well. And this guy. I'm going to put him under another general. With a better defense. Let's put out the field marshal in there. Maybe he can do some holding. Um. Yeah, I just need there. There, three, three guys is fine. Okay, we're, we're taking them out, one by one. Uh oh, the German civil war just started. They can't support us. No one can. All right, there's another uprising. Another uprising. Um, I'm thinking, do I move them here? Is that sa that's not safe? <laughs> we need to move them um a bit closer, right? I think I hold the river line here because I need that that air, air I need that airport. All right, we're gonna use these troops to kind of. Consul mm. I need uh, Moscow to hold. These guys hold out so well. There we go. Golden skis. Alright, now I'm going to send this guy here, this guy here. To, uh, to defend the airport. Then I can bring in my, my planes a little bit better. Uh-oh. Everything's popping off now. Uh, then we can move them here. Like this. See, now they're functioning a lot better. They're attacking each other. Okay, that's good then. That's good. That's what I thought. I was like, uh, hang on a minute. Um... 100 days. I don't need that right now. So I need the construction. Uh, airport is in my control now. Which is good. Very good. Very good. Uh, they're attacking there. I'm going to try to do a counter attack here. They're force attacking. I don't need a force attack. Yeah, I need planes. What? Damn. So... I need, I need, I need, I need to, uh, well, look, we've got a lot of industry going. So if we can hold Moscow and, like, the surrounding areas, I think we'll, we'll be okay, right? Do you know what? I'm going to launch. I want to take these guys out. They're a small nation. Oh, I, I retook an air, airport here as well, so that's good. We got 400 there as well. These guys should be out, no? Oh, I need one more province of theirs. Maybe I take that. Oh, yeah. I support that. Oh, they're, they're, they're trying to encircle me here. Uh, I'm going to bring these guys back. I don't want to get them encircled. Okay. 
Okay. These guys go here. This guy can go here. These guys can kind of destroy this and then get out. Don't need it. Uh, what? Hang on. How have they not capitulated yet? Oh, and I lost that. Stupid, stupid move. I take this quick. Actually, I should pull these guys back a little bit. Yeah, because uh, they're trying to surround me. Oh, you guys are lucky. I'll be back, though. Right, move these guys back. Boom, bada, bing. Okay. It might not be much, but we have a little front going. We have a little front going. Um... I mean, these are good, but, I mean, they're only for 100 days. Oh, my God, this guy's still holding. He's doing well. He's doing well. Uh, defensive doctrine, obviously, because he's the one holding. Uh, I'm going to try push a little bit shortly. Actually, I shouldn't be falling back, should I? Not just yet. Hmm. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I've got like a kind of a a good hold now of the the surrounding area. Now we just hold on. Oh my god, I didn't realize that we we've we've got these sort of stuff on our side. Uh Ah, uh, we have to Oh, okay. Um <laughs> decrease taxes. Guys, we're in a war zone. But we don't need to pay taxes. Hey, Mark, how are you going? Is it Mahak with the with the accent on it, or how is that? Um, invest in the colonies. I think that's that's pretty good as well. Settlers propaganda. I mean, we do all these, right? All right, five percent. I didn't realize that, and now. Uh, now I'm in a bit of a pickle because I don't know how long these can go. Slaves executing our officers. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. How are you going, Mark? Um, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Can I take this province back? Awesome. I'm kind of like building up my lines a little bit more. Can we build uh, uh not so much just yet, but we will we will soon. Sooner or later. Okay. The good thing is they're attacking each other, right? Who oh. Why why do they have a capital up there now? Um I think we do that as well. So we've got actually a good attack now on us. Oh man, look at the provinces. Alright, we're going to launch our attack. Oh, we don't even need that guy here. Let's move up. Do I speak Hungarian? No, I don't, sorry. Um, Where are you from? Budapest? Or is it Budapest? Budapest, yeah? No, no, unfortunately I don't speak Hungarian. Where are you from in Hungary? Picks? You gotta. Uh, what is what is hello in Hungarian? Um, oh, I don't know. I I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is that the is that the? Oh. That looks like a nice city, man. Where's that on the map? I wouldn't even try to pronounce that. Okay, so you're from the... Is it very mountainous? Is it very... Is it very mountainous region? Because it's by the Carpathian Mountains, right? Right. 
So, so you're like, uh, so you're like, uh, where are you? Around here, huh? Doesn't you're not on the map? Sorry. <laughs> Is it quite mountainous? No, farmland, farm like like this, right? Yeah, that's cool. It's a, I I have never been to Hungary, so I need to go to Hungary. Definitely need to go to uh, Budapest because uh, it's such a I've heard it's such a lovely uh, city. So I need to go there for sure. Do you live in that city, uh, that town or city, or are you somewhere else? Have you moved uh, somewhere? Okay, so we're, we're this guy is stuck here, but he's pinning a lot of divisions down. We're going to launch our attack because we've got only 100 days to do it. So we're going to launch this. Oh, we can attack that and destroy that straight away, right? Oh, look at that. That's completely, uh... We're going to encircle these guys. Oh, look at this. This is encirclement to, say, the best. Look at this. Bam! I want to move this guy here. Move this guy up here. I know I'm very scared that I'm going to get encircled, though. That's the issue that I've got. Boom. Yes. Look at this. This is a great encirclement. I'm going to go there. I'm not going to let you take any land. Uh oh. These guys are taking land. I've made a big mistake. Actually, do you know what? I can bring this guy back over here. I don't need that tile. Oh, yes. And I'm going to try and circle this. Oh, do you know what would be cool? If I can encircle these guys... And, um... Oh, I nearly did it! Pin that guy down. Uh... The... The Russian People Liberation Army is big. It's a lot stronger, you know? So I need to, uh... To do a little bit better in that case. They don't have any army here, so I'm thinking I can go like that. I'm going to see if I can re retake the land so I can save my division that's been left in the dark this whole way. Oh, did they just get... They just got obliterated, so that's good. Um, the issue I have right now is that... Oh, I can't even deploy one troop there. Do you play hung... Um, do you play uh, Hearts of Iron a lot? Do you play uh, Hearts of Iron a lot? That is the question. Do 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 do. Kick is good. Oh yeah. Well, who's your favorite nation to play? Is it Hungary or and and, and or what other? Uh, do you have any other countries? Do you do you play? Okay, so this is a good encirclement. Uh, do you know what? I think these guys can do it, but I, I want to hold this this bottom flank. Actually, do you know what? We can actually expand because these guys are doing absolutely nothing, and I feel like we can we can do some damage here. Oh, maybe we can do encirclement here. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, let's do that. Maybe Germany. Did you did you see the new uh, announcement for uh, the the new um, update, the download for Finland and Scandinavia? That looks cool. Um, it's not doing too great, is it? Oh, there's reinforcements. They have a lot of reinforcements here. Do you know what? I'm going to see if I can surround these guys. And then move here. I'm doing a lot of encirclements here. Let's see what we can do here. I think the Reds have not many troops left, so which is good. I can maybe send that guy across. Yeah. 
Do you play um, Kaiser Reich or uh, do you play any mods? And have you played this mod before? That is the question. I'm not attacking much in this part, but Moscow is in a very weird position. It's between three airfields, uh, three air zones, which is a bit wonky to say the least. Oh, I'm going to do a big encirclement here. Uh, can I do this? How good, how good would that be? Oh yes, look at this, this is good. We're gonna get encirclement here. We're doing some good encirclements actually. Let's see if we can take that out quick. Oh, we're taking the capital. I think these guys are gonna collapse soon enough. Not really. Just the, the vanilla game, the, no the normal game, right? Let's see if I can do some. Boom, take the rail. We need the rail. Push these guys, so they don't, uh, push this guy. Because I think we can s surround a lot of divisions here. Hold this line a little bit. These guys are going to hold this, but we've circled this, which is good. Good, good, good. Um, we need some more divisions. I think only play one or two mods. Okay, what, mo what mods do you play? What mods do you play? Do you play Kaiserreich? Kaiserreich is probably the the biggest one, right? Oh, I forgot to do this. I always forget about that, eh? Always forget uh, about the settlers. Let's destroy these guys. Oh, we, we've taken them out. They should be gone now. Yeah! Get out of here! Boom! Do they have anything we can take? No, nothing. Boom. All right, we've taken that, and now we can uh, pursue more attacks because that took a lot out of me, getting all that inventory going. Oh, they've really pushed here, haven't they? I mean, if I can hold that. They're not attacking yet. We've got this encirclement good. Um, the thing is, I'd, I'm not sure when this happens, you know. Kaiser Aish with Hungary. That's cool. And then you make Austria Hungary, right? Or the Danubian Federation. Really cool. Really cool. Hmm. Do you watch much um, Hearts of Iron? Or live streams? I'm going to try taking this airfield. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did. Uh, holding here. I'm going to fall back here. This guy's okay. These guys are not moving, which is good. I see them walking around. Oh, they're going to... Actually, I'm going to go here. I gotta go and take this guy out. Because he's he's stopping my encirclement. I have to say, the defense is a lot stronger. Alright. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna pull back. Fall back. Fall back to there. Because this attack's not working on these guys. These guys are too strong at the moment. I don't have any air force in the south as well, so... I'm going to kind of focus on trying to liberate these guy, this guy in here. Can I attack this? And would I win? Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, mate. So if we take that... Uh-oh. This is not good. I don't like that. Oh, actually, can I can I do like an encirclement for myself? Actually, can I do this? They're not on that line. What a mess they've done here! Oh, they've they've encircled me. No, they haven't. Oh, pin this guy. They're trying to circle me. Not today. I've just encircled all their troops here. Oh, yes. Yes. And now they've taken this out. I can go like this. And then go the, like that, I think. All right. Look at this. Okay. We've done pretty well here. And we'll retake this. I'll take this. I wonder if I can just push through here. Wouldn't make sense, right? Oh, and they took out that as well. And move down here. Um, we 
done a few good encirclements though, I have to say. Good, good. Alright, so... We... We got like that. Counter-attack. We want to push these guys back a bit, no? Hmm... See, so we're pushing through these guys. What, who did they attack? Okay, Germany's pretty strong here. Do you play, um... Do you play, um... What's the other mod you play? Any other good ones, or is it quite... Quite a... Minor mod that you add? I think I'm gonna go like that. Try and circle these guys. All right, so I've got a I've got a division somewhere. Uh, I think <laughs> I think they have. I don't know where they are. Guys, where's my division? Where's my division? I asked for. I don't see it. I don't see it. That's annoying. I'm gonna attack Tula. See if I can retake it. Be cool if I could. I'm encircling. Oh wow, I did a, a really good encirclement there. Uh, let's go back into the city. That guy's gonna go straight into attack. I feel like I'm gonna lose the city. Yep. Yeah. They're trying to. They're, they're trying to hold me here. And we're gonna go like this. Yep. Yeah. Knew it. How did I know? I'm going like that. All right, so we got three divisions here. We're gonna kind of move them around. Hold the left flank there. Tula's getting okay. However, I think I'm losing too many men here. Um, we can deploy that. We we've got a lot of manpower now. Those that's, that's good. I don't know when I can do this though. I don't know. I just don't know. Right, here's another division that we can uh, we can add into the fray. Actually, he can just go here, right? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to get rid of these guys in the south here, but I feel like uh, the north needs to be helped out a lot. We're just encircling slowly but surely. We will uh, we will win this easy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're okay. Oh, well, okay. So it's like, um... So it's like, uh, just a fr like a... All-out war. May I I'm guessing... Do you think it's, like, competitive? Like, a very competitive mod? Like, for competition? It, seem it seems like it's a very competitive, uh, based mod. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Get out of here. Uh, how do we do here? These guys still haven't moved because I feel like it's just beginning. Let's see if we... Can we can we take these guys out? I'm just waltzing through them. These guys are like weak as hell now. Too many, too many encirclements have uh, taken them out, I think. Let's get some air superiority here. And then I can do this. And then probably like that. Ah, get back! Attack that. There we go. Here's another encirclement. Perfect. Oh, we got that encirclement, which was good. Move these guys like that. That's perfect. Awesome. Um, let's port attack that guy. Actually, do you know what? I can do that, can't I? Um, and then he can move into that province there. Okay. Oh, I get a good uh, good bonus there. Let's push these guys out. And then I think... I think we may be near defeating them. Let's move these guys here. Yep, 
Yeah, see, look at this. This is this is good. This is good. We're doing some good things here. Doing some encirclements. Oh yeah. Did I take that province? No. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Here we go. Another encirclement, maybe. Uh, we've got these guys doing well, so we're gonna encircle that. This guy's doing that, and then I want these guys to attack, but then sh uh, move over to here. But I think I can not do that right now. Dun dun. Oh, I can move these guys actually. Let's finish the job. All right, how are we going? Look at the trains; they're really buggy, eh? Very buggy. Um, see if I can do this. See, they're pushing up here to hold this, and then I'm just going to go waltz around them. And pick up all the slack. Hold that. See, this is a good thing. I can just circle them now. And hold these guys here. Boom, bada, bing. Put that guy there. Oh, yeah, the encirclements are happening now. Crack the rip! Well, I'm plus 14% now. 15%. Oh, yeah, look at this. And then we can move this around here. Oh, they, they, they tried to... They broke out of the encirclement, unfortunately. Uh, let's go straight to their capital, I feel. I feel like we, we've kind of got this. Uh, can I do this? Let's, let's pin them in. Like this, I feel like. I feel like we can do this. Uprising in Moscow. We have received urgent reports that citizens of Moscow have begun a large rising... You bastards. Get out of here. Okay. We're doing okay here. That can go like this. I'm not sure where I have to go. Like, where's their capital? Oh, it's all the way up there now. Holy moly, I've got a long way to go. Do -do 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 -do. I've got that done, right? Yeah. We're just going super weapons. Oh, we got some victorious stuff in um, here, which is good. I'm just going to do this massive encirclement. I feel like we can do it. Um, and then... We can do like that. Actually, do you know what? I think this guy is going super fast. I think we can do like something like that. There we go. All right, these guys are gone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you going with that? How are you playing Greece? Are you are you trying to... I It's, it's not modded, right? So it's historical? Or are you going to try and make yourself huge... Um, Greece. Go away. I, I just took them all out. How dare you try to take them all from me. There we go. Now I can kind of focus my line. You know, like, I can focus everything on this. Because I've already kind of, kind of encircled them here. I got a new division. Perfect. Good to see. Good to see. The thing is, they've got their, they've got their armies in the north, but their their. Oh no, actually no, I'm I'm wrong. I have to uh, watch that because that's their territory from the start as well, right? Get them in that. Make huge Greece. Oh nice. What year are you in? Have you just started or? Who did they declare war on? They're just declaring war on everybody now. Even though they they know they've lost here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. We've got some bonuses now. Boom. Focus on taking the capital there. 
Oh, we could actually do this, right? Yeah, we're not attacking you because you're an ally of us, right? I hope so. Oh, there's two different states. Okay, interesting. Uh, 14 days. But look, we've got a lot of manpower now, so I think we're okay in terms of uh, in terms of that. Make a huge Greece. So, the, do you want to make like the Byzantium Empire? Is that how, is that how it's said? I've forgotten. I've really forgotten. Oh yeah, look at this. Here we go. Move that there. Oh yeah. Alright, I've got to do this as well. 15%. Ooh. Can we do... In We're doing some encirclements, which is good. Let's do that, because I know that we can do it. There we go. Look at this. Yes. Yes. See, look at that. That was a good, that was a good attack, see? Now, oh, another encirclement. Another destruction of their army, and then we can just go through, I think. Go through and hit their... The most valuable cities. We can hold that, but we can also encircle him. I think that's my favorite thing to do is encirclements in this mod. Easy, look at this. Oh, is he gonna make it in time? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, I can attack that. And then I can maybe push there. Uh, actually, I want to kind of attack that, right? That's the end goal here. Let's uh, cut them off and then finish them off, I think. I think that's the, the end game here. Get this guy in here. Actually, let's do this. Think I can do this? Yes. Try rebuild your lines with this, huh? And then like that. Boom. Get this guy in here. I think if I take Volgograd, it's over. I think so. I can't. I can't do that one yet. Okay, we're we're on twenty percent now, so that's good. I think it's uh. We're about to win here, which is good. Boom. Yeah, get in there. Encirclements are my friends. Let's get that done. Big encirclements, guys. Big encirclements. And there we go. Massive, massive win here by the team. There we go. Let's go. Then we can move that guy into here. And they've kind of collapsed now, I think. I think they have collapsed. Firstly, they don't have any troops left. They've lost 87,000 troops. Which is... Is a little bit crazy. Um, but it is what it is, right? Let's go super offensive. And we're going to go like this. Uh, do you know what? Battlefield. Oh, I can't even do it. Why, why even show me? Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, the, now we're winning really badly here. Oh, no. I only can go this way. Okay. That's a bit weird. Uh-oh, the Gobel Spring. Oh, the People's Germany has risen up. Um, and then we can go like this and win. Afterwards. Get 
And that guy can go in there. Oh, we're just building troops now. Willing it. We've got so much uh, industry. Production is going through the roof. That is what we want to see. There we go. Look at that. GG. We won there. That was a good fort battle. We did a lot and a lot of um, uh, encirclements, which was probably the, the one that pushed us over. Encirclement galore. See? We did so well here that we don't even need to touch it. It just goes like it goes. They'll do. They'll get encircled themselves. Well done, generals. You have done very well. Yeah. My militia divisions have done very well. German civil war still going, uh, but it looks like Bormann has won. And we have won too, which is good. They cannot stop us now. How are they? Ah, oh, they're done. Next, next state, they they lose everything. Oh, really? Come on. There we go. So I took everything, but it it seems like they uh took them a while. There we go. Boom. Victory. Victory has been assured. We have victory. Prepare for trouble. Ooh, okay. We can do that. And I feel like that's uh, that's it. Oh, end of German Civil War. Perfect timing. I think we won at the exact same time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> A small Norway. Small Norway. Awesome. Oh, I think that's it, eh? I think there's nothing left after this. Return to Germany. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I think I feel like there should be like an event here to just finish it off. You know? Because everywhere else lost, I think. All the other rice commissars have lost. I didn't, though. I survived. Um, see, there's this guy still. Oh, okay. So he's in charge of that. Republicans don't... I don't understand why they don't merge together. And... These guys somehow are also winning? Yeah, I'm just... I'm just obliterating now, so like... I can get rid of all these divisions, right? Awesome. Look at that. Alright, well then, that's it then, I guess. We uh, have reclaimed the territories. And uh, we have... Uh, we have won. We have victory! We have victory! I do feel like that's a good one. Cool. I mean, probably not the best... Uh, <laughs> ending here um however boom we did it we did it we're the only one that did it it was a that, that's a tough battle is then that's for sure um maybe for the next time we um maybe try another team i think for sure i mean let's have a look okay no i should have said load So we could go revolt, and then we we get the Russian part, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Okay, so the anti-German is doing okay. There we go. Okay, cool. So we're back, we're back, we're back. All right, now I can actually see the stream on uh, YouTube, which is good, to say the least. Perfect. Per 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 All right. All right, let's try this. Let's try something different. Um, let's go with... Who's this one? Buyonskishk. Okay, let's go with him. 
We are the south here. Knowing that nothing, we have nothing in the north. We've only the four divisions at game start. So we want perfectly the best attack, right? The guy also has good uh, defense. So we've got the north. We're producing rifles as quick as possible. And we got six. We got five. Well, I'm going to do five, right? I'm going to build them as quick as possible. Um, oh, enough is enough. Um, we got war support and we also get stability. We have been working for these German bastards for way too long. They shall bring ruin upon Russia no longer. We are launching an open rebellion against the Reichskommissar and his lapdog Kaminsky for Russia for liberation. Okay, cool. And then we activate the veterans call. It's time to call out dormant corps of veterans back into action. We need experienced men to fill our ranks. The veteran corps will be reactivated and they're necessary, necessary to our army. Okay. Or mass conscription. And that's given fascism or paternal autocratic. See. Ooh. Okay, interesting. All right. Invade Archangel as well. Okay, interesting. All right, let's see how we go. I want to quickly destroy this as quick as possible. We also want to capture the three cities and Kursk. Retake Kursk. Um, I want to quickly move into here as well just to defend my lands because they have a lot more divisions than I have at the moment. Okay, so that, that was taken out really quickly. I don't know why. Uh, they didn't have as much defenders as I thought they did. Uh, we're going to move here. Kind of like retake a lot of our lands. Who is this? Oh, Ukraine's in my land. Get out of here. Bro. And then let's do this to like kind of connect the lands, I think. Yeah, they're really pushing me on the, the right side here, so... Uh, whatever I need to do, I need to do it quickly. Uh, I think um, the veterans will be good, be stronger. They also, one thing I haven't really realized is that they actually have the, the Air Force, right? Which is not good when you say it like that. Not good, not good. So we've got some cities there. We're trying to build stuff, but... It does take a, a while, and my I'm losing a lot of land right now. To both sides, actually. Do you know what? I think I'm going to take Bryansk, uh, Bryansk as a loss and just hold the um, Oral. Um, Oriel. Oriel. Um, like this. And hopefully I can build as enough rifles. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, shit yeah. We've got our army ready. The veterans are coming to fight. I think the best thing to do for me is move these guys to the front here. Our next target... Moscow, the old beating heart of Western Russia, is still in the hands of those Nazi bastards. And Kamiansk, our armies are watching the ancient capital with eager eyes, still advancing towards the region. Every journey begins with a single step, and Moscow is step one. Hello, I've come back. Welcome back, man. Welcome back. You were missed. How did you go? How, did you did you make uh, Big Greece yet? Um, I kind of want to take back. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Oh, I've taken it back. So we're playing, uh, I don't know if you saw it, but we're playing the other side now. We won, and now we're playing the Russians People Liberations Army. So the south. Uh, I also need to build anti-tank. Anti-tank is uh, a must. Boom. All right, look at this. The army is getting bigger. Move in here, move in here, move up here. Boom, bada bing. We're going to win. Uh, move over here, retake this, and we're going to do an encirclement. Hey! You didn't know that, did you? Look at this. Oh, what a per. Look at this. This is great. Look at this. There's another encirclement here. 
No, I'm because the research and build info. Ah, okay. So it takes it takes a while still, yeah. Uh, let's move up and take some more forces. I think. Um, I do want to bring these guys over here though, because I kind of, as much as I uh, drive the Germans out at all. Okay, so the revolt in the heart of the Rice Commissar is going swimmingly, but the anarchy that followed our revolt is a true indicator of the situation in Moscow. On one hand, there is the entire Wehrmacht force, while the communists also stir trouble elsewhere. Day after day, our enemies are multiplying in number and pose a giant, a general danger both to ourselves and to the entire future of the Russian nation. Surround on all sides by those who wish to destroy everything that true Russians hold dear. We must make a difficult choice. Do we focus our efforts on defeating the communists or the Wehrmacht? Oh, hang on. That... They're both at war with me, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see. Let's see how we go. Uh, okay, so do we go... Do we attack? Do we retake Moscow? I feel like we're already doing that. Hook up the front line. Speed, okay. Anti-German propaganda. Okay, we do that as well. A new central command. Uh, refined Ops Corp. Defend Holy Russia. Okay. Uh, re reuse German weapons. That's what we need. Uh, village conscription. A gradual burn. Okay. Or do we go uh, against Bolshevism? Uh, where we get into Moscow assaulting. So we get division speed plus 15. Which is also good. Um, recruiter population plus 10. Church. Political communist, uh, relaxing officer. Hmm. Which one do... Mark, which one do we choose? Do we choose the left one or the right one? You get to choose in this one. Which, which should we go for? I think both are pretty good. I think this is where we get the Tsar, though. I feel like we go left. We go to the left. Left? Alright, we're going left. Good go. We go left. Left maybe. Oh, too late. <laughs> we're going we're going down the left side. Um alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get that equipment. We need that equipment as best as possible, you know. Um, also, with anti-tank, encirclements are benefactory. Oh, look at this. This is another great uh, encirclement. Boom, bada, bing. See that? I think that's a good a good call. You, you said a good one. Left is probably the best. Why? Because we're already winning. We're already putting, uh, destroying these guys as quick as possible. So, I mean, if we can do that really quickly, uh, I think we'll be good. Let's see how we go. So, we're losing our territory up here, but we can't get anybody up there, right? So, the good thing is that we have... We have... These guys are going to lose really good. Easy. Oh, is it is Hungary at war with Croatia? Oh, they're, they're fighting two sides. Uh-oh. I think they're, they're going to definitely lose Hungary. Versing two nations at the same time. Uh-oh. Um... Uh, push that guy Let's see if we can do an encirclement here i feel like we could uh we've taken moscow that's for sure that's a good start um the guns we got the guns we got the guns guys all right perfect oh yeah no hungry <laughs> yeah i'm so oh croatia's invading oh no yeah Hungary, I think, is probably a very hard game in this one. They're very hard to play, I should say. Very hard. Um, you have because you're versing Romania. Romania's got a bigger army and stronger. But then, if you get Croatia, it's all over. But the thing is, I think, I think, when you when you lose against Romania, 
you can attack them again later and try to take back the land. So there's two wars, in a way. Uh, okay, so we're going to go... Ooh, do we take the speed? No. S division speed plus the training is probably the best thing we do. All right, let's retake this land. Oh, they try to encircle me there. Uh-oh. Push them back. Push them back. Do not let them through. All right, we did... Oh, we did double encirclement here. That's cool. I mean, that actually, these two should be, like, supporting, right? All right, let's see. Yeah, they're pushing here. They're pushing here. The good thing is we've got all these divisions now. See, they're all spreading out. They're all defending. Once this is, this is good... We'll move on there. Okay, that's good. Um, glory, the army state. So we can... We're actually deploying these troops as well. Which is also good. Who's this? Get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. Let's see if we can uh, attack that. Let's take that factory because there's no one there. Um, and then you can go here, and you can go up here. You can, let's do another encirclement. I think I like encirclements heaps. Uh, let's do this. Get these guys out of here as quick as possible. Do you know what? Let's do another one. <laughs> encirclements galore right now. Oh, actually, no. There. Oh, we did it. Oh, that, we didn't even need to encirclement there. Take these guys out. Boom. Honestly, I think we could do like a, a full-on attack now, right? Like this. Oh, we did it! We took out the, the German state, that's for sure. How much can we take? Can we take all of it? Oh, demand all of it. Oh, who's going to win? Who's going to win? I think I will. Yeah. They can't demand anything. Ugh, I'm not a big fan of this contested demand. It's just a bit annoying, you know? It's a bit annoying. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Now we've got just... You know what? I'm going to merge this guy into there. He's going to have the whole army. And then the field marshal. Yash. Is going to... Oh, no. I did around this encirclement here. Uh, against here. And then we're just going to just obliterate them, I think. Oh, we can do this. Does this work? Oh, no. I have no idea what's happening with the, the lines here. Can you go here? Did I encircle some of the divisions by accident? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he got back in line. That's all right. Let's go. Forward. Oh, here we go. This is good. Association of the Freed. Interesting. Oh, we got another militia division. That's great. I need to leave for a minute. No worries, dude. Thanks for stopping by and, you know, come back when you want to. No worries whatsoever. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty well here. We're on a bigger bigger front though now. Alright. Oh, do we do that? Ah, I should have said no, shouldn't I? Um, Into Moscow's beating heart. I think we're doing... Oh, do we have an air force? Oh, we took some. We took their air force. Now it works for us. I don't think we have uh, many pilots in this, though, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. The Prague Uprising. Okay, okay. Um, relaxing offices. So that kind of gives us a bonus, right? Let's, let's, let's quickly do this uh, encirclement, huh? Oh, 
Oh no, we we gotta go super offensive. That's that's how we win the game, guys. Village conscription. Once that's done, we'll do the United Church. And then we need to build up our army as quick as possible, right? Because as these Germans will be on us. I think. Oh yes, look at this. Stop the attack. Oh, I, I took them. <laughs> I wanted to be like, hang on a minute. Chill out a bit. Awesome, okay. Let's see. Gradual burn. Okay. Uh, we got to get all these uh, things done because I feel like... I feel like the divisions that we're going to do now are going to be against the German army. So we need to do this. In here. But we will also add artillery um, and anti-tank support along with... Uh, not maintenance. Engineers. Because if we don't do that, we're going to lose. And I don't want to lose. We need to win this. We need to win this. Okay, hang on. We've got this as well, right? Invade Novigrad. So, let's take Novigrad out as quick as possible. I think we can do that, right? Are they allied? Oh, yes. Okay. So... So we go like this, go like this, super attack, he needs to go in offensive, Meh, charismatic as well, can also be put on there. We need towed to artillery, and we also need support equipment. So if we have that, I think it'll be good. Um... So we need to invade Novigrod. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. They're still fighting the civil war. That gives us a lot of time. For now, only the answer. Oh, okay. One last offensive. If we take this, this is good because we can, we can do uh, a lot of stuff here. All right. All right, there's no more needs for... I need to invade Petrograd and Archangel after this. Which I can. No issue there. Uh, Minsk. Minsk has fallen. Okay, infantry expert here. Let's do that. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta do that. We'll do that in a bit, all right? Let's do super offensive. We gotta do super offensive, guys. All right, that's that's out. We're, we we've taken both of them. I'm not sure if we needed to take both of them, but it is what it is now. And then we go. All right, you over here. We're gonna take Petrograd back as quick as possible. And then, oh shit, I did the wrong one. Uh oh, uh oh, I did the wrong. I I did. Archangel, not Petrograd. Well, the good thing is they'll they'll it gives them t some time to to get out of there, you know. All right, sitting in the offices, the division commanders flip through the names of the officers, sergeants, colonels, but also soldiers. After the Sixth Vessel Revolt, they brought their faction power. Now they are left with the re reorganization of the state. Looking into the paper, the first commander said briefly, "Did you notice anything strange about these officers?" Pointing to their several names, is there a problem? The question of another commander followed. Who drank as part of the victory? Passing the bottle to the third and last commander. Ah, uh, are though He banned a hiccup from getting drunk. Oop. Monarchists? He managed to finish the sentence while the first commander nodded, pumping doubts to the third commander about their loyalty. Have they made any trouble so far? I don't think so. I'd even say they fought well, but soon after the revolt, like they decided not to follow any orders. The other commander thought about it. He began to search for possible scenarios that were running through his head. Do you think that what I think? What are you talking about? Suddenly, the first commander, unprepared for this question, grabbed his glass and slowly took a sip. 
Monarchists are very strange kind of people, essentially when armed. Do you think they are preparing something drastic? You don't think that they are planning something big? <gasps> <gasps> Mutiny imminent! Uh-oh. Let's, let's save here. Running through the halls of the Central Command. You're here? Woo! You're back, man. Welcome back, welcome back. So, we won this, we won the war, and now Monarchus are here. Running through the halls of the Central Command, the officer who was ordered to inform his superiors as soon as possible, carrying a report confirming the earlier suspicion that mass desertion was being prepared in RNNA Monarchus circles. A threat to even remove Sergei Bayonchki from the current government. He didn't even have time to knock on the door when he burst into the office, frightening everyone inside. What's this about? What's the reason for this intrusion? His superior asked angrily. But the officer did not have time to think about it, but handed the report over to him. What is this? Desertion within Monica's circles? He said warily, trying to catch his breath. Reading carefully, he reread it again and again to see if there was actually true. He crumbled the report angrily and threw it in the bin, running his hands nervously over his face, thinking of what to do at the moment. What just happened? He was asked by the man with whom he had talked until recently about the victory that followed the revolt. We have a problem, he said briefly, grabbing the phone next to him. What are you looking at me for? Speak. What do I say when I don't have all the necessary information? Fucking monarchists are threatening to secede from our army and launch a new coup? Damn it! He didn't have time to think. The phone call was certainly already alarming others in the army. Hello? Central Command? Yes. We've just got a report on the RNNA ranks and it's extremely worrying. Can we solve this situation somehow? Uh-oh. You chose I attack Bulgaria first or Bal Albania, Turkey? Hmm. As Greece, I think you should take out Albania. And then go, f and then you have a, mm, actually, do you know what? I think you should attack Bulgaria first. Take Bulgaria, and then you can expand better. Because Turkey's too big for Greece at the moment, I think. That's what you should do. All right, send every man you have and put them in jail. Or Ivany had an agreement with us. Stand down. So we, do we stand down? Or send every man you have and put them in jail? Hmm. I think... Because we want to get the, the, the monarchists. We had an agreement with us. Stand down. We address all residents of Moscow. We have stormed the central command of the high command and arrested all the traitors of the Russian nation. The time of Repu Republican is now over and we can begin anew. The first formal act after our takeover will, of course, be the stabilization of Moscow and then the pacification of all the territories currently under our control. After that, we will turn to further stabilization blah, 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 of our country by returning the old Russian traditions, traditions that have not accompanied us for centuries. Martial law will be introduced from today until the end of the state of the emergency, and we ask all citizens of Moscow to abide by these rules. This is the RNN command staff signing off. Oh, oh. Oh, an anti-revolutionary revolution. Oh, my God. All right, let's see what we got. So, so basically, is this? Yes, we've got the Tsar. Okay, we've got the Tsar coming. There's a heavy opposition to our state inside of our borders. Bolsheviks, Germans, that insufferable bastard Kaminsky and the leftovers of his cowardly army, among others. We shall start a campaign of terror, terror against our internal enemies. No one shall question the truth authority of Russia. Okay, perfect. So we got that getting done. We got to move these guys. We're getting it. We, we've, uh, or oh, we've lost a lot of generals. Um, real harsh leader. Oh, wow, our army is really bad. All right, we need to quickly get over there. And um, I think it's actually a good thing because because they've come out of their their defensive line, and we can just sneak past. Oh no, they have more divisions. Oh, bugger. But they're, they're very bad divisions, huh? Seems like it. And then we can encircle these guys. And then we can kind of push into Archangel. I need to really quickly uh, do some stuff because uh, Germany is about to attack me once their civil war is over. So, uh, the idiot Bajinchko and his Republic goons really thought they could professionally direct an army. We shall prove them wrong. The army will go through a heavy restructuring process. Hoorah! Okay, that's good. Um, hopefully we get some good bonuses. Alright, we've taken it. 
Submit demands. Boom. All right, now we quickly rush back to the where we were supposed to attack first and take Adolfsburg. So let's quickly move these guys back over. Oh, we need to wait for PP as well. So we're back in Moscow. We've got Belarus under our time. I'm hoping these guys hold on <laughs> a bit longer because I, I kind of need it. All right, let's go. In we go. Oh, let's go straight into it. Across the lines. Across the river. If we can take over the river, we get that, you know, we don't get the debuffs from attacking the river. All right, return of Zemsky Sobor as we further towards Cyrus Restoration. It's time we brought back some of the old institutions of the Russian Empire, most notably the Zemsky Zobor. An old legislative body dating back to even the terrible in the 16th century, the Tsars had always come to rely on the Zemsky Sobor for advance from, advice from their nobles and clergy for the decision-making of the empire. As we, as we seek to make the old system work in the modern era, it will have to change. The new Tsar will have little in the ways of actual authority over his vast realm, leaving RNNA officials to govern on his behalf. The Tsar will still be required to sign new laws into effect. However, there is nothing to stop Ivanov or his allies from forcing him to do it. Despite any objections, the Tsar might have. The Sabor, therefore, will act on the Tsar's wishes, however vague it may be, How however it may be interpreted. Ooh, ooh. Stuff's getting real, guys. Anti... What do we need right now? We kind of need... Oh, here we go. We should have done this first. The utter collapse of Moscow's administration has left up with bad and good things. One of the latter is the industry. The West Russian urban centers hold enormous industrial neighborhoods. We shall utilize them properly, but first we will need to streamline these means of industrial production. All right, let's do that. Uh, we kind of need to get our industry up and running because if we want to... Oh, look, we won. Yeah, yeah. All right, take back Petrograd. Easy. Cool. Now we've got actually uh, a navy we can produce, but we don't really need a navy right now, do we? Um, the Germans are going to attack us on that <laughs> that point, so I feel like we need to defend that as much as possible. Here we go. All right. We don't have enough garrisons, but hang on. Weren't we... Who's who's rising up in revolt against us? Ah, uh, just Belgrade. Okay, so just provinces that are ours. Strange. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, what was left behind? Um, the West Ru Russian industry is 10 years behind the rest of the developed world. Nevertheless, it is going to be necessary for our cause to maintain its running. We will reorganize these leftovers into something worthy of being called an economy. Economy. It will be the foundation of a proud Russian. That gives us a oh, that gives us a lot of good bonuses there. Uh, we also need to see how our production is going. Not too bad. Not too good. I kind of want to get these done. Uh, at least they'll give us a start to protect our stuff. But who knows? Mark, how how were you going with the 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 uh, the war that you that you started? Uh, Fortress Buster. Ooh. Do you know what? I think Scavenger would be better for this case, but uh, we don't need it right now. Uh, production's going for the troops. Good, good, good. How's everything else? All oh, the civil war's still going. The longer this hap holds. Ah, that was bad. I wanted it to hold for a while. <laughs> Uh, the longer it holds, the more time I've got. Because right now, I feel like we are very running out of time. Okay, so... Still a little bit of war going on. These guys are really out of it. No, I'm just doing a war goal now. I, I have to wait. Ah, okay. That's right, then. Alright, so we're nearly to the Tsar. Ooh, um, we will declare martial law a curfew and enact any law we can to ensure a state of emergency this will give our government extraordinary powers to act against the enemies of russia properly okay that sounds good all right we gotta get this done are you are you going through the um the focus focuses or i don't even know if there is a focus is there we got minx which is good that's not good that's definitely not good with uh, Germany finishing the... 
I kind of want to support the the other guys, right? A crusade against hunger. The collapse of the Reich Commissars has left hundreds of thousands of precarious situation. Precarious situation. A famine has spread across the country. Those who haven't succumbed are still suffering greatly. We shall enact rationing of bread, meat, and other foods to ensure that everyone's hunger can be quelled. Okay, I mean that's good for the good for the army and the people, obviously. Um, yeah, we need that. Get that in there. How's the construction going? What are we building? We're building a lot of uh, military factories. I mean that's good because I think we need it. I think we need it. Do we attack down here soon enough? I mean, if this is if this survives, that will actually be really good for us. I feel like they could join us. Uh, restore. It is our promise to restore the Tsar's throne. Oh, for by God he is the true and only ruler of Russia. We shall start a campaign of restoration. Uh, restorationist propaganda among the citizenry in every city, town, and village. The words will be heard. Long live the Tsar. I like that. Oh, here we go. Anti rhetoric. Republicanism has us nothing but corruption and decay. Those Vladivostok de degenerate puppets and bloodthirsty perm communists are destroying the Russian nation. As monarchist, our main enemy is Russian republicanism. The Tsar army shall slay the enemies of holy Russia. Okay, interesting. I'm uh, intrigued. What's happening here? Okay, so we still have to do this, which is annoying because there's still... Okay, we shall draft a constitution that both grants us unlimited power to act by decree and protect our actions at the same time. The Russian constitution will be drafted by a puppet legislation formed by monarchists and fascists. Interesting, to say the least. How long's your war goal, Mark? Alright, and here we go. The time has come. Our prince has arrived from exile. For decades, we awaited his return. The return... Okay. Um... The crowning will be attended by tens of thousands of people. It will be aired on radio and shown in every newspaper and propaganda. Ah, oh, we have holy Russia. The priests are ready. The army is ready. We will be victorious. Let's see how we go here. Um, we need oil. What do we have in our... Let's supply. Kind of want to see what our resources are. A lot of metal, a uh, steel. Sorry, a lot of steel, but that's it. <laughs> and and rare materials. Nothing else, which is a bit annoying. I think I need to take the south, right? Right. Uh, Ukraine has oil and tungsten. Oh, here we go. It was a cold day in Moscow, but in spite of the weather, Russians from across the realm gathered in Red Square to witness something they hadn't seen in almost a century. The coronation of the head of state as Tsar of all Russia. As Vladimir I made his position through the square in a horse-drawn carriage, cavalry belonging to the RNNA flanked him from all sides. While some cheered the new Tsar, many others seemed more intently curious as to what such a move would bring. Mm. Entering the partial restored Dormition Cathedral, hundreds of NNA officials and foreign representatives sat dutifully before rising from their seats, clapping. As the new Tsar entered the chambers, the ceremony was long and drawn out, <laughs> um, as was tradition, as with exiled Patricia, who had recently returned to Moscow conducting it. As the elaborate crown was placed on Tsar Valamir's head, a 21 cannon salute broke out across the Kremlin as the chamber broke out into chorus singing, God save the Tsar. As the newly crowned Tsar exited the cathedral, a massive crowd had gathered to sing their praises of the new Tsar, throwing him in bouquets of flower all through the night. The people partied in the streets of Moscow and across the new empire as the food and vodka started flowing once again. Monarchism in Russia, as it seems, never died. Three cheers for the new Tsar! Boom. It's July and I have to wait... Oh, okay, October. Not too long then. Not too long left. The Russian Empire. Today has been marked by shocking reports from Russia. 
as Sergei Boyonsky's government had been overthrown in a violent and bloody coup d'etat. I thought it was pretty peaceful, you know. These officers are members of an organization known as the RNNA and led by one Sergei Ivanov. So basically, the Tsar has come. What is this, an alternative history novel? Yes, you are not mistaken. The Tsar's cabinet. A cabinet has been formed by the orders of the Tsar. This new government cabinet includes several prominent fascists and monarchists, including the economics minister Sakharov, a prominent monarchist who draws heavy inspiration from the Spanish Falangi and national syndicalist economy. Oh, boom. Look, the Tsar's... Tsar of Russia. Is this core yet? Oh, this is core? Oh, okay, that's occupied. Interesting. Okay. Russian Empire has been returned. Okay. We've got to get more uh, construction going. Because I feel like I've got the guns right now. Actually, no, I don't. I need, I need good guns. I don't know why we haven't. We're going to get run down if we don't have good guns. Okay. We got good stability, Vladimir the first. Um production costs, yeah, let's do that. We need we need a lot of industry going on on weapons because if we don't have the weapons, we're going to lose badly. We're going to lose badly if we don't do this. Bum ba -da -da -da. I think there's a lot of... What's going on here? Oh, it's... Okay, they're allied with Italy. The Tsar's cabinet. An empire cannot be run alone, especially one as vast as Russia. To govern effectively and fairly, the Tsar has approved in the members of his cabinet to help him govern. Of all the groups in Russia that would be willing to help him are the generals and ideologies of well, Russian People's Liberation Army. Hmm. Despite their extreme tendencies, they are fanatically loyal to the Tsar in all aspects and seem willing to help him govern his new state. This crack team of loyalists may just be what the Russian people need after years of misery at the hands of Nazism and communism. Well then, let's get to work! Alright, what do we need? Alliance with the church. Um... So that's industry, right? Uh, I kind of need... Hmm. Mm. Okay, that I need to do that to unlock the war path. So... How do I get bigger though? Okay. Old stigmas die hard. I need to do that. I need to do that to unlock it. I'm scared that, um, I'm scared that, uh, Jeremy's going to take me really soon and I won't be able to hold them off. I don't have anywhere near the industry I need. Oh, what's happening here? Hmm, I don't want this communist to win. Do I send them? No, 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 no. I need to defend myself, actually. It'd be pretty dumb to do that right now, I think. Very much training, so we got some good... Oh, after the Civil War, not too good. Junta, okay. We need to rush down that to get the army. It doesn't really do much. Yeah, not too much, eh? Touring the empire? Okay. We need the Tsar now than we did. Okay. But hang on. Why can't I... What, how am I supposed to take it all back? There doesn't seem to be anything I need to do. Oh, look. That's getting close. That's getting very close to what I don't want them to have. No doubt about that, that's for sure. Do, 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 do. What do you guys think?
Alright. Stuff's getting real. Alright. That just got absolutely annihilated, so I'm not liking how that went so quickly. Poland got smoked, and now they're right on my borders. Um, do you know what I'm thinking? I should really build a, a retreat line. <laughs> like, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to... And w once that's done, I'm going to do that. Just to defend. Reform the Ocarina? Um, don't need that right now. The SAR, an active star stability, minus 5%. However, hmm, war support is plus 10. Mobilization, damages, modify the SAR, trade deal, blah, blah, blah. We don't need really good trading, right? Recruital population, mobilization, be plus 50%, which is really good. Um, monthly population, mobilization, the zip recovery, Hmm. What do we do, guys? Which one do we choose? Which one do we choose? I think... Oh, research speed. Let's do the research speed. Actually, for now, until we think about it. What do you think, Mark? Drive through Moscow. The Tsar's Torhead commands hundreds of thousands of Russian citizens in the ancient city of Moscow saluted the Russian monarchy. As the car drove through, accompanied by soldiers and motorcycles, drove down ho happy of a smile as one could have. The chants and cheers of his subjects were like music to Vladimir's heart. As the Tsar's parade entered the district, fewer and fewer people were seen. The streets were getting empty as they drove deeper into the historic region of the city. His eventually, the car's roof was put back in place. There was too few people to cheer for. He got Vladimir called for his chauffeur. I want to greet my people in a more personal way. Park the car. Igor panicked slightly for a few seconds before looking at the cloud-covered sky from the driver's window. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. That is not in our itinerary. Besides, it is going to start raining soon. The Tsar raised an eyebrow, suspecting an excuse from the driver. So it's water, not acid. I will just bring an umbrella. The tour is going to be very long, and Your Majesty, it would be very unfortunate if you fell ill at the start. Realizing he wouldn't get anywhere, Vladimir signed, <sighs> shutting the conversation and turning his head to the window as a little raindrop smashed against it. Where are we going next? Oh my god, the war started. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, huh? What are you going to do? Oh, hopefully you win. Good luck. <laughs> Tor Petrograd. All right. Um, okay. Church deserves better. All right. The tours are just story which is cool for people who like stories let's see what we go uh research speed is good because then we can just quickly like it's february we need to like get our equipment all done and set up right oh we're building building our forts up and then and then they'll take ukraine i'll be like ah no <laughs> this whole front is gonna be on my Okay. Let's see. Good luck, sir. May the force be with you. Um. The thing is, I actually just do that. The people, sir. Uh, I do think this is the best. You know. Yeah, let's do that. I, I I feel like it's better to have him run it because he's the one that actually got them, got them to where they are at, at the moment. Um, artillery. We need artillery. Get the guns done. Do 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 do. Um. Okay, cool. It's going to be interesting. Let's see what we do. Oh, look, the Kazakh is beating the perm government. Uh-oh. Spaghetti oars. Uh-oh. <laughs> there goes my defensive line. <laughs> no! It's getting close. It's really getting close. 
I'm thinking I go... I need my army as quick as possible, right? So I need to do this. Oh my god, they just ran across Lithuania like there's nothing stopping them. <laughs> my my defensive lines are just rubbish. <laughs> oh no, they'll attack Republic of Lithuania, uh, Latvia. And let's see, let's see what we got. Yeah, they attack. Oh no, who do they attack? They attack someone, no? Oh, Republic of Slovenia. Oh, they took them. Well, that was like not even a speed bump, I'd say. Guns, guns, guns. We need all the guns. Uh, yep, okay. So, yeah. Look at that. We need so much stuff getting done. Asar, and then army. Okay, we get the army done. We've got, we're, we're upgrading everything we can. I mean, I think it might be too late, actually. We've, we've been too slow. A ceremonial sar. We've got the Russian Empire. But the thing is, will it hold against Germany's armies? Which are ferocious and have tanks. A lot of tanks. Uh, it would be cool if we could put anti-tanks in there. Just to stop their tanks from overrunning us. Because I feel like that is going to be the issue with us. Is that um, they're just going to overrun us. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna deploy, and I'm just gonna continue building these guys. Boom, bada bing. An army without a past. Ooh. Uh, okay, quickly. Do that. Get more deployment. Oh, Ostland. Oh, I can do this now? Shit. Do you think I can get in time to take perm out? Just so I can have a better backing? Do you know what? Fuck it. We're going we're gonna to rush over to perm and t try to take perm so we can bring them in further. Um, Anti-air. We definitely need anti-air, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Uh, new Russian army. We get a lot of that, which I kind of need, right? However, do we... Yeah, you know what? We need, we need, uh, economy back up and running. Oh, we've lost a lot of our, uh... Oh, yeah, shit. I... See, I told you! Flip! I, I moved the line... And then they, they, they just come running. I don't think I'll hold this, guys. This is the end. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Oh, they even circled me. They, they're doing encirclements to me. They just destroyed me. Holy hell. The Air Force is just completely obliterating me. Why didn't you attack Estonia first? Look, look, they're just bombing the hell out of me. Do you know what? I'm thinking of just moving back and holding, like... Like here. And around Moscow, like that. I feel like I'm screwed already, but it is what it is. Look, my air force is just getting absolutely annihilated. Uh, no, I can't do that. But I want you to get on rail and get there as quick as possible. I've got no oil either. I'm annoyed that they attacked me so early on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I've just lost so many divisions. Oh man, this is not looking good. Uh, uh, <laughs> just build lines of defense, eh? As best we can, we're gonna hold on this river. The guns! I tell you, the guns! Yeah, we're screwed here, we're screwed here. Hold the lines, my friends. Yeah, the tanks just obliterate my forces. That's the thing. That's why you need to build shitloads of anti-tank. To stop them from... Even trying. Because look at that. I just absolutely annihilated right now. Uh... Right, look at that. I'm just getting obliterated. I can't even counterattack. The the troops are just too weak. It's the end. Oh, this is the end. This is the end. Oh, it's winter. Oh, we held. We held it for winter. Uh, do you know what I want to try do? I want to try add anti-tank in there. Oh look, 2000. There's no way. <laughs> the thing is we're... We're not getting overrun as I thought we would. Yeah, well, it doesn't look good. This is the end. It's a very hard situation here, I. Right? Mark, it's all over. I could not save the Russian Empire, unfortunately. Germany attacked me too early. Uh, what if I shorten the line here? And I just build. Yeah, but no one's manning these, huh? You won! Congrats. I lost, unfortunately. This is the end. I got nothing left. I got nothing left. Desperate defense. Oh, Kursk. I can develop something in Kursk. Um... We 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 got desperate defense. I mean, we could do. We could do basically, just hold on. I don't think they'll do much though. That's the that's the issue I've got. Congrats, man, on the win. Good stuff. Oh, there's a bit of a counterattack there. Oh wait. Never say never. Can I, can I counterattack? No, that's a river. I shouldn't do that. Or can I? Oh, probably not. Am I leading a counterattack? <gasps> Could this launch an attack? Oh my god! I I did it. The first ever counterattack by uh, the Russian army here. We did it. We did it, Mark. We're still here. We're still looking in. This could be, this could be a good well defense there, though. 
<laughs> we're holding we're holding the capital and we're doing counterattacks here. What's happening? What's happening? We got a big we got a big uh, industrial base here though. That's the that's the cool thing. Stand fast, men. Do not let the enemy in. This is your last opportunity. Rebuild our roads. Lessons. Oh, do you know what? I I think I should have done that and gotten the resources I need. Defense is what we need. Defense is what we're going to get. Do not do not leave the front. We will defend and we will win. Um Where's this one? That's that's defense there. Yeah, the longer we can hold, the better. I just leave this guy here. I mean, this should be like that because we're losing now. <laughs> we're losing the areas. Hang on, could we do something crazy here? I feel like we could do a counterattack. Push the swines back into the river. We will not lose the fight. Oh, this this is what annoys me. This is what annoys me. This line. Oh shit, no. This is what annoys me. Because I don't want to go all the way down there. Damn, we are holding, eh? We are holding. As much as I, I want to say it's very bad, and it's looking very bad, um, we are doing a good hold here. Kind of. We take the cities. We take the defensive measures. We will have victory. We're gonna save it there. Save it there. Um. I kind of want to do a piercing move and, like, see if I can, you know, like, surround them. Because they're in the middle of the winter. Well, it's not the middle of the winter anymore, is it? Shit. Oh, yeah, he goes there. He goes there. Move up. Defend your regions. I really did think that uh, they were just going to obliterate me. But they kind of like left back and kind of let me like move my troops into positions a little bit more. I mean, look, um, stupid AI is just redoing the lines, which is dumb because they were in perfect places for the defense. Oh, I'm going to lose. I thought it was only two away. So, like, why are you attacking? Did I tell you to attack? I don't think I did. There's too many guys in this pocket. Like, get out of there. Get back to the... Ca why are you moving from the capital? This guy's moving away from the capital. Um... I mean, that's the anti-tank, right? Who are you going to attack next, Mark? Oh, I should have been on that guy. Shit.
Hmm. I mean, maybe I could uh, rebuild the line here. They've they pushed me off like the the right side of Moscow where all my industri industry is, which is really stupid. Uh, they're still trying to take my my provinces, which has put a lot of a lot of uh, resources for them into trying to retake. I'm I, I'm thinking I just hold here. I don't go too far out because I'm gonna. I really do need to retake this. I I don't think it's gonna happen, but. If it would, yeah, that it's just is a fortification there, and it's just not good enough. My hidden depots, though, which is good. I don't like. Why are you moving? Like you don't need to move. See, now they're attacking again. It's it's summer now. Oh, it's summer, and they've uh, they've they pushed me again. Uh, alliance with the church, help me, help me, church. I don't know what you can do to help me, but please help me. Oh, I did get all that re equipment, which was fantastic. It kind of rebuilt my, my troops up there quite a bit. Um, like, the lines are getting smaller and smaller, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to lose our flipping capital because this idiot just, like, leaving. Do not leave the capital. All right, I'm going to just put a, a general to hold the... Moscow because that's ridiculous we've got our last airport this is the reverse Berlin if you're new here welcome welcome counterattack retake the lands oh no get back into Moscow you guys are the ones holding Moscow not me we've got some forts in the north but the the, the, the east side of Moscow has all our for our uh, industry which is a bit annoying Oh, Borma got toppled. I mean, would that be good for me? Hopefully it's good for me. I would like it to be good for me. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't go attack that. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, what do we do? What do we do here? Uh, build some construction stuff. Mass produce it, mass produce it. Oh, man. Can we send... Uh, let's send two guys to hold the north. I really don't want to lose the north. Good thing is we're getting uh, a few things here. Did you not like think, hey, maybe I should support this area? Nope. Okay, then. Uh, correcting previous mistakes, several mistakes in regards. Okay, let's, let's do that. Where are they going? Hmm. They're going somewhere. Are they trying to attack Moscow? We're holding the north. Do we move in here? Yes. Not good. Not good idea. We just they they knew it. They knew it. Now I've got no entrenchment left. Oh, I should have cut off this. I really did. I should have cut off the the lines. Um, the Holy Roman Empire shall succeed and hold. Uh, <laughs> where if you if you just got here, guys, we're playing a uh, the thousand year Reich. And uh, a thousand week rush, and uh, basically we're the Russian Empire. We brought back this Tsar. However, Germany attacked us really early, and somehow we're we're holding. We're holding very well, which is uh, is crazy. I didn't think we would be able to hold it too much, due to the fact that uh, we've kind of we had like nineteen thirty weapons, but somehow we have succeeded in defending. Um, what do I have to do here? I don't know what else I can do. Oh, uh, Italy guaranteed Albania? Oh, no, dude. You're, you're, it's not a good day there. Not a good day. 
Are they attacking the south? We're okay in the south. We're okay. Um, total concession to minority. What does that do? So stability. Okay, a lot of stability here. We we actually got quite a lot of good stability. Uh, monthly population. Uh, war support monthly population. I mean, that's good because we we need a lot of manpower because we we're below. Oh, actually, let's do that first because we need our industry base back. I think. Uh, we we have like we've lost basically all our industrial efforts in the east side of Moscow. This is probably the first thing we need to retake is the east here. They're all armored divisions though. They're all armored divisions. I think we could take this, huh? I think we could take this. I mean, we could severe this line. Yes. All right, we took that. No, just stay there. Why do you have to reorganize your stuff? Don't reorganize. Damn it. Okay. All right, I can't produce any more troops. So that's the that's the issue I have here. We're re the good thing is we got military factories. We got a lot of military factories, and I mean a lot. So the good thing is we can do that, I think. And then hopefully we can start producing a lot more stuff we are surrounded though um catching up with our old enemies increase factory output i mean that's pretty good class corporate who who did declared war on me <laughs> come at me come at me perm there's no one else here <laughs> i'm versing everyone already Bloody hell, everyone's just tr trying to take me down. Uh, yeah, everyone's trying to take me down. But you can't do it. The good thing is that getting huge attrition here. I'm, I'm fine. This is my home. This is my home base. You do all the attacking you want. In the end, you're attritioning. And attritioning bad. All your tank divisions are surrounding me. <laughs> surrounded surrounded by tanks actually i want to take a screenshot i think that's a pretty cool screenshot how can i get that maybe like this awesome that's a good screenshot i think good good do you know what i think i can take this industrial back if i can do that I could lose, but then if I lose, it's I lose, right? Uh, the reorganizing of lines are just so badly done in this game. Do you think I can take this out? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do I get my industry back? Oh, I got two industries here. I got two industries back, Mark. What do you think? I attack Romania or Yugoslavia or just stay and when I'm am going to be more strong, I'm attack. Um, so you got Bulgaria now, right? You got Bulgaria and you've got so you got Bulgaria and Greece, right? I think if you want to get oil, you attack Romania. You attack Romania. I think that would be a, a the best thing to do right now is to do that. Um, I'm going to launch my attack. I think we're okay here. If I can bring my uh, attacking forces here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Retake the land. They're reorganizing, and they kind of don't want to be cut off in winter, right? Hmm... I don't want to spread myself too thin. Oh shit. I've spread myself too thin. And it seems like... Okay. It's not doing too bad. We're kind of retaking the east. Which is, is good for me in terms of... All oh, these these lines are the supply lines. Because I, I kind of want to get my civilians back. 
but this was a terrible move here. Why? 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 Like, come on. See, if Germany AI was better, I would be screwed over because of the AI trying to retake my land. Come on, man. All right. I think I've got a few more minutes, so I think I'm going to try take these guys. Counter, counter. That's good. My attacking army. I've got a good attacking army now. Okay, so I've got I've got two construction. All right, I'm gonna save it there. I think it's it's fantastic where we're at, uh, and we're gonna try again tomorrow. Yes. Got that exit intro. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, Mark. Thank you so much for coming across. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue the Thousand Week Rush. I think uh, it's... It's very good. It's very good. We're, sur we're surrounded on Moscow, but we've got our forts going. We've got our factories going. We're producing a lot of stuff. The The Germans are attritioning at a huge rate, uh, which is which is good. And I think it's going to be a really good thing. Perm attacked us. I mean, come on. Who else is going to attack us? We've got the Germans attacking us. So it's going to be good. Um, if you're new, if, remember to subscribe, like the, like the video. And uh, guys, I will see you tomorrow for an amazing new stream <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one jay out